Hey, it's Dimitri. Um, okay, so I didn't make a video last week because I felt like not a lot had really changed between week two and week three. But now, I, as of tomorrow, I will officially have been on tea for one whole month. So, this is my one month on tea video. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, changes, changes, changes. Um, the sort of new things happening has, like, not a lot of new things have been happening that haven't happened in the first two weeks, but everything from the first two weeks has just increased. Um, so, like, I have more body hair, um, my sex drive is still really high, um, like, basically everything that I was experiencing has just increased. Uh, my fat has started to redistribute for sure. Um, so like my hips are definitely more like straight up and down like this rather than being like sort of like this like they were before. Uh, my waist has been widening like the most narrow point of my waist is less like this and more like this. Like it's sort of getting to be more straight. Um, than it was before and also I feel like I have a lot more mass around like my shoulders and upper back and stuff um, like I sort of have more muscle there but also more fat just just more stuff like I'm more of like a kind of v-shape comparatively um, and yeah like um, I I've also you know been continuing to build muscle in my biceps and stuff, which is just something that's unusual for me, like, it's so, it takes, it's taken getting used to, but I like it a lot, just, like, I never work out, and yet I have all this muscle, it's cool. Um, <clears throat> other stuff, my tummy is continuing to get fat in it, um, like, I still don't have much tummy, but I don't have much body fat in general, but it seems like things are migrating toward my tummy. Also, my butt. Um, like, my pit hair is thicker. I don't know if you want to see it. I still had a lot of pit hair before, but it's just sort of thicker texture, I guess. Um, as well as my pubes are thicker texture, and my leg hair is definitely coming up. Um, like, I don't know, you probably still can't see it on a webcam. But like I have a lot of leg hair now compared to where I was at before. That's probably a pointless shot. You probably can't see it at all. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I don't know. Stuff's going really well. I think I have like a little Adam's apple kind of coming up. I know you probably can't see it on video or anything um, or in real life either. But like it, when I feel my neck, I can feel it. Like right there, and uh, it gives me hope that maybe it'll become more prominent. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> my uh, jaw is definitely changed in shape. It's like more defined now, and my face is sort of more jaw heavy. I'm looking forward to that continuing and stuff. Um, like it's been aching. Like I can feel it. Like ache and when I feel along my jaw bones like this right here is definitely more prominent like just by touch like it's pointier it's larger jawline cool um what else what else uh oh yeah like I don't know so one thing that's been kind of hard for me about doing shots and being on tea like that is that there's definitely um like a peak right after I do my shot of like energy levels and moods and everything where everything is really like high key and then throughout the week it sort of drops like Thursday Wednesday is like my high point like where I feel great the whole day it's just great and then by Sunday which is since I take my shot on Monday like by Sunday I feel really low energy my mood is down I'm kind of depressed so like I it's it's not that bad it's just that I, I know I have to plan my week around the fact that by Sunday I'm not going to want to do anything because I feel like low energy and I feel depressed and stuff. 
and then on Monday, like, I'm really keyed up, so, like, it's hard for me to focus on things and stuff, um, even though I had a lot of energy. Oh, yeah, another thing, my neck is kind of wider, I think. It's kind of, it, it's sort of not visible, but I, um, sorry, I know I started talking about emotional things, but now I'm going to go back because I forgot about my neck. Like, I tried on a collar that I bought before I went on tea, and I tried it on, and it was, like, too, kind of too tight for me on the setting that I used to wear it on, which used to be kind of too loose, and now it's kind of too tight, so... I don't know um and like I think my shoulders are like this is my resting shoulder position so my shoulders are definitely more straight as opposed to they used to be more like this like sloped like that and now they're more like straight across um I don't really know what's up with that but yeah my voice is definitely deeper um I'm definitely able to sing lower and I can't really hit high notes when I sing and just like this is kind of my natural speaking voice so it's definitely lower um, and I have to clear my throat a lot like my voice is kind of weird it's just in flux you know um, but I'm looking forward to that deepening more and yeah just things are changing man it's really cool and like also more growth my, my cunt, my little clit dick is still growing. So it's really cool and I like it a lot. It's kind of like I have to sort of, okay, sorry, I'm going to talk about sex for a minute. Heads up, sex talk, okay. Um, I'm going to, like, I have to touch myself differently and be touched differently. Like, not that the way that I touch myself, I used to touch myself, doesn't feel good, but it's just like different things feel better now. That's all I'm really going to say. Like, things are more sensitive. My nipples are more sensitive. Like, all of that. It's really cool. It's made sex, like, really cool for me. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay, so now... Okay, I know this video is really long, but I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> um, also, since being on T, I've felt a lot more in touch with the non-binary part of my identity. And, like feeling more in touch with my femme side and feeling a lot more comfortable like being femme and exploring makeup and stuff. I've always like secretly worn makeup like it's weird. I feel like I have to like wear makeup on the down low because otherwise people in my regular life like at school and work and stuff will not respect my gender um, as a boy uh, but like I don't know. Lately, I've been sort of asking people to call me they rather than he. I'm still really comfortable with he pronouns. It's just like I feel more in touch with the non-binary part of my gender. Um, and like I'm really happy that like T has given me that ability to be like in touch with that part of myself um, because I feel less dysphoric in general um, about my body as a whole. Now my dysphoria is kind of mostly focused on my chest, but, like, when has it not been? So, you know, but, like, I, I feel less dysphoric about just existing, which was, like, a big thing for me before. It's just, like, the fact that I exist in this body was just caused me a lot of pain, and now I'm, like, really happy with it, uh, for the most part. So, I don't know. Shit's, shit's good doing good and I'm graduating or I only have one week left of school and I'm graduating in like 10 days or something like that so like blah I'm so excited I fucking can't wait I just I can't wait I can't wait I want to graduate so bad I just want to be done with school oh man and yeah okay well I'm gonna sign off now because this video is really fucking long. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, tea is cool. I like being on tea. Peace, y'all. Peace and blessings.